a prominent Chadian opposition leader who was killed in February by government troops, appears to have been shot in the side of the head at close range. That's according to five forensic experts who refute a photo of his dead body for Reuters. The findings call into question statements by Chadian officials that Yahya Dilo was shot dead in an exchange of fire on February 28th when security forces tried to arrest him at his party's headquarters in the capital. Professor Derek Pounder, a UK-based pathologist, said the visible gunshot wound was incompatible with a scenario of an exchange of gunfire. This is a contact wound to the head. In other words, the muzzle of the gun was pressed against the head when the shot was fired. On February 29th, Chad's communications minister said that Dillo had fired on security forces sent to detain him for alleged involvement in violent clashes and that he died of injuries sustained when they shot back. The same day, Reuters received a photo showing Dillo's head. It revealed a large wound near Dillo's temple on the right-hand side of his head. All five forensic pathologists consulted by Reuters about the photograph said the blackened skin around the round entry wound on Dillo's head suggested that he was shot at close range. There are three photographs of the wound to the right side of the head. The wound is to the temple, halfway between the ear and the eye in this region. When we look at the wound, we can see that the edges of the wound are blackened with soot and dirt, so that the soot is seared into the skin. Also, there are small round articles of propellant embedded at the edges of the wound. The assault on Dillo's headquarters was conducted by members of the Rapid Intervention Force, or FIR, a unit only recently set up by President Mohammed Idris Deby to counterbalance the influence of the powerful presidential guard, several sources say. Hours before he was killed, Dillo said that the party officers were surrounded by FIR troops. They want to kill us, he said in an audio recorded on February 28th. Based on the ferocity of the military assault on his party's headquarters, the opposition has called Dillo's death an assassination. The yellow facade of the party headquarters was left pockmarked by heavy and small arms fire. A day later, it was bulldozed to the ground. Reuters was unable to establish independently how Dillo was killed. Rights groups have called for an independent investigation, saying his death raised concerns about the conditions for presidential elections due in May. Human Rights Watch Central Africa director Lewis Mudge. Um, if it proves that he was actually executed, uh, that has real ramifications for the future of any type of democratic space in Chad. Dillo, 49 years old, was not just an opposition leader. He was also a former minister and a relative of Deby from within the powerful Sakhawa clan that has dominated Chad's politics and the military for decades. He was widely believed to be planning to run against Deby. Chad's government did not respond to requests for comment on the photograph, the pathologist's findings, the circumstances of Dillo's death and the progress of any investigation.